Yes, that is a Chicago Police Department vehicle, and um, yeah, Chicago really seems uh, lovely to visit. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski of WeAreChange.org. The globalists are up to their old tricks as they are launching now a massive cyber warfare game, which in the context of previous war games definitely deserves to be talked about, which we will be doing extensively in this video, plus all the latest news. But before we do that, today I had a very hard time picking the intro video for today's broadcast. The one I picked, the Chicago police are actually investigating right now the one that I was thinking about also picking is this absolutely disgusting nasty display of brown nosing and butt kissing that CNN did to the White House press secretary as CNN boldly asked what does the media do wrong when it comes to covering Biden's agenda literally this is the complete and utter opposite of journalism and perfectly represented by this gif playing in front of your screens right now if you want to watch the full video it's on my twitter but i decided not to start off with it because of of the sure likelihood of people gagging and puking in disgust from the vile dirty behavior exemplified by this man that some have characterized as a eunuch i didn't say it other people are saying it as a friendly reminder the mainstream media is not your friend this is perfectly represented by their coverage of dr fauci which we're finding out lied to us to an even more extent as we're finding out that more u.s tax dollars were used to do very dangerous gain of function research specifically surrounding the horseshoe bat in the level three wuhan laboratory than previously believed before this as of course dr fauci's emails were released and highlighted a picture of the government constantly lying to its citizenry while many times obscuring the true reality of what was happening in the fauci emails we also see a large amount of conversations between him and bill gates a man who is financially invested in the outcome of this sickness a man who has lied to us on numerous instances and was even bigger friends with jeffrey epstein buddy buddy with him to an extent that we still don't even know the full ramifications of in related news surrounding this case Ghislaine maxwell also just lost her bid to obtain a diary from one of their victims in a legal decision before the Glenn Maxwell trial begins. As of course, it's coming out that thousands and thousands of children were hurt. Bill Gates knew about that. And as a man, according to some accounts, was having trouble finding ladies, very suspiciously, routinely hung out with the man that was providing children to elites and now bill gates after all of those scandals after all of the corruption after all of the major allegations against them looks like he's being rewarded as the european union just announced a partnership officially with bill gates to the tune of one billion dollars for a project that's being described in very vague generalized language about quote building sustainable global industries and quote expanding opportunities for billions again very vague generic empty language and with the involvement of the eu president who's a former bilderberg member the european investment bank and bill gates this push for quote green tech should definitely be met with a lot of skepticism since all of the people involved here have an absolutely horrible track record in related globalists trying to help and save you news we of course have the latest announcement from the g7 that they have agreed to an historic deal that would establish a quote global minimum corporate tax rate backing of course 15 percent to be siphoned off from businesses globally to of course fill the coffers of government officials to create their war chest and to make sure that quote corporations aren't tax dodging their 
quote, obligations to the larger mafia that is government. Literally, everything that's happening with government is essentially what happens with mafias. There's really not much difference between the two. And even though we hear talking points about going after the corporations, we have to understand corporations are just a form of, of doing business. I have a corporation, and essentially the tax, like most taxes, will essentially be heavily levied against the poor and middle class, which are the ones most affected by it in a negative way. As even the Wall Street Journal writes in their opinion piece today, quote, the global tax man wants the middle class, with their byline reading, quote, big spending politicians will have to go where the money is in citizens, persons, and, and wallets, and that's exactly what's been happening. In related big spending politicians, we of course have the latest news from Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez that is forcing her grandmother, who according to her was living in Squirrel, not to accept a hundred and four thousand dollar donation which came in through GoFundMe after Cortez posted the horrible conditions that her grandma was living in. And of course, Cortez used this situation as a way to attack Trump somehow putting all the responsibility onto him. And now, according to the GoFundMe trust and safety team, the GoFundMe to directly help out Cortez's grandmother that was going to give her $107,000 has been canceled on behests of the beneficiary who is refusing to take the money. Yeah, definitely seems like Miss Cortez wants the government to fix her problems instead of private enterprise and charity, which could have significantly helped her, but somehow she saw that as a, a personal attack, which is, in my opinion, a, a little ridiculous. And denying this charity effort to a grandmother who was in trouble, that also is leaving a bad taste in many people's mouths. And as government officials look for the government to get more involved in everyone's life by taking more of their money away, other governments, like the government of El Salvador, are deciding to change things up as they just announced plans to make Bitcoin legal tender in their country. This was a major announcement at the Bitcoin 2021 conference, which I was at yesterday during this announcement. And the reaction from the room was very, very powerful, as of course, there's, there's many implications here. Since if Bitcoin will be a legal currency, this raises a lot of questions about capital gains tax restrictions, implications, and the change of, of rule of law. This would mean that El Salvador would be moving away from the US dollar, moving towards Bitcoin, which is absolutely huge. This is a major development that we're gonna be following very closely as it unfolds. And I have to say, attending the, the Bitcoin 2021 conference, I was surprised. Ron Paul was their first speakers. There was routine messages about free Ross. There was a big aspect about liberty, personal responsibility, and not letting any government stand in their way of, of innovation and private enterprise helping individuals out. So it was it was pretty astonishing seeing that being the larger message of a conference that had 12,000 people. And as you know, we've been talking about cryptocurrencies on this independent media platform for a very long time even when bitcoin was just a couple hundred dollars if someone chooses to to donate cryptocurrencies they can on wearechange.org forward slash donate and uh, the few that do keep us up and running and we cannot thank you enough for your support and participation with independent media to find out more information about that click the link down in the description below and find out the many ways that you could get involved in this independent media organization now not all is well and hunky-dory in the online digital space, as of course the World Economic Forum has just launched their quote, cyber polygon war games that involves many countries coming together to quote, deal with the threat of cyber security. This also using agencies like Interpol and other secretive government agencies that of course will be participating in this larger exercise they have individuals like tony blair globalist kingpin klaus schwab joining in these exercises that will specifically be beginning on july 9th 2021 and again we just see the same vague words no details about global cyber cyber resilience and the, quote, intersectoral cooperation against cyber threats. Now, allegedly, this is all to, to fight against cyber crime, cyber attacks, and it highlights a cooperation of some of the worst elements in our society, 
who also have a very horrible track record like IBM, mainstream media publications, big banks, hedge funds, organizations like Deutsche Bank, who are going to be cooperating during these large exercises, which we should be keeping a close eye on and watching as they develop, as many times these exercises and war games tend to mimic real-life situations that unfold after them. Sometimes even mock disaster exercises and real-life events happen at the same time. And more importantly, this is also happening at a time when there's larger extortion rackets unfolding right now with cyber hacks that are using NSA spying tools that were somehow, quote, released to the general public, that's, that's the story, that are wrecking havoc on American infrastructure. Whether it's transportation hubs, meat factories, large corporations, oil pipelines, they have all been affected in many ways by these NSA spying tools that allegedly the Russians are using. Are they Russians? Well, in the online digital space, we don't know because the tools that the NSA developed with your tax dollars are so good that they could hack anything and everything and in the online space it's virtually impossible to sometimes track down who did what and from what internet connection and with the increasing amounts of these NSA tooled ransom cyber attacks we also have to acknowledge that major government institutions major corporations have decided to pay the ransom rather than deal with the consequences of these cyber attacks which in my opinion, and from all the analysis that I'm seeing, are far more frequent than we even know about. And with these attacks becoming more and more known to the general public, affecting more and more of American infrastructure, you have to start to ask yourself what's going on here, since of course, the World Economic Forum was talking about this, warning about this, and having Cyber Polygon even officially start last year, this is the second year that it's going to be continuing since these ransom cyber attacks are becoming more of a reality that every day more and more people are affected by. Now, of course, correlation does not prove causation, but it definitely makes you wonder what's going on here when the World Economic Forum says that they want to stop cyber attacks and then we have a whole bunch of crazy crap ton numerous cyber attacks happen all throughout the world. Again, not jumping to conclusions here, just an interesting, interesting correlation. What do you think is happening here? Let me know down in the comment section below. I am not doing a Luke Uncensored video today. I will be doing another one tomorrow. I need to, to rest. There was an extremely busy Bitcoin weekend. I met so many people. I made a lot of good connections, but I'm just utterly exhausted from it all. But I'm still here for you because... Without you, I wouldn't be here. This is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on We Are Change the Dark. Share this video, friends, family members, strangers. It means more than ever that you do that. Love you. Stay tuned for more.